Hello, my name is Arthur. In the last video, we got to start making um, a map or arena for our tank to play in. And now we're going to just quickly convert that into something that will probably work. And this is just like a test scene to test some stuff out and some ideas I have. So I'm going to take the tank off of it. And let's see, I'll, um, I'm going to just change this type. So I'm going to change the type to a uh, static body. And then I'm going to create some collision shapes to go with that. And technically I should make a cube collision shape on the ground. But because I'm just using this to test, I'm going to test out the different ideas here so we're going to create a tri-mesh static body well actually if we do that we don't have to make this into a static body so let's put that back to spatial we'll turn this into the static body so we're going to go mesh create tri-mesh static body So now we have a ground with a collision shape. We're going to do the same thing to all of these and just turn them into um, static bodies. And I think that'll work for a map. So we'll have some kind of a map going on here. So we'll convert this. And I think think that should give us a map now the Abrams um, we're just going to make that let's make it a kinematic body and that's likely what it's going to end up as let's see if I have that in here kinematic body it has no collision shape, so we have to give it a collision shape. Now, let's see. Um, let's look at a collision polygon here and see what we can do with that. So, a collision polygon, let's see, size, we'll go 4. And we're going to do X and Y. So let's just start looking at X's and Y's here. Okay, there's a point going on there. So we'll just try to get this where we want it sort of deal. And I'm just guessing this out. I don't have a lot of experience with making these polygons, so... Um, I think this point... We want like this. And then we'd pull it in this direction. And then these two points, I think, would go something like this. More or less up to the top of the wheel. So we want it something like this. Let's see. Probably in around there. trying to get the hang of how to move these around sort of the way I want them to move um yeah not really sure here so let's just start getting this one out there a bit so 
It's going to be something like this. That's the wrong one. So maybe around there would be right. I'm just trying to get the shape so that it will go up. So let's look at how that's working out. We have one at 0.49. So let's try this at minus 0.49. And then this one at 0.048, I think. That should make it even-ish. So something like that. And then we would also add in um, a collision shape. This one we'll start as a box shape, so that'll be too big. We'll bring it down to being just a little bit bigger than the bottom part there. Slim it down, and this would be the top of the tank. So something like this kind of deal. And I think that'll work out for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this into a group. Um, we'll put it into the group player. This doesn't even have gravity right now, but as it is, it should work. So we'll save that. We're going to um, save this map. So this has to be done like this because it's never been saved. We're just going to call this test map. So this will be a test map. We'll save that. Um, in the Abrams we're going to create a mesh so we want a mesh instance this one we're going to give a shape to we're going to give it a sphere shape um, we're going to make it half a sphere 0 0.5 uh, about 0.7 we'll give it a material new spatial material Flags, we want transparent for albedo. We're just going to give it some kind of a green color like this. Okay, we're going to make it mostly transparent, so put it around 20. And then we're going to give it a mission a green color something like that and maybe dial this back a little let's go 0 0.75 okay we're gonna call this selected and turn it off we're going to attach a script to the Abrams so create um, function selected value we'll pass it a value and we'll go dollar sign selected dot visible equals value Okay, so now we have a unit selected function. That's for a box select kind of idea. We're going to instance a camera. So we need a camera. Let's see, um, clipped camera, camera. We'll just 
put that sort of somewhere for now. We'll put the Abrams into the scene. I'll change the name here to test map. Here, let's just do that way. That's fine. Let's see the Abrams. We're going to just pull up here. Transform, snap object to floor if we can. Oh, that's going to give me the gears. It's giving me the gears about the two different collision shapes. So we'll just put it like this. It can't fall, but we'll see what we have here. Okay, so we can see the tank. It's on the hill. And that's what we're looking for. So that's the setup. In the next video, I'm going to try to make it so we can select this tank with the mouse and try to get a point to click move the tank around so that'll be in the next video and until then take care